uh, we're here, we're on the 28th of um, September. We just casted, it's right there. Uh, we got the old man working on his stuff over there. We got another fellow um, fisher over there. And I think when I got here, he actually caught something. So that's a good thing. Uh, I didn't bring my stand, so I'm gonna be doing a lot of uh, blogging with my forearm today which sucks bear with me we're using we're shooting in hq mode today and um yeah we're gonna see what we can do we casted our first cast we picked up some breakfast we're gonna have some breakfast right now i'm gonna bring my chair over here and then we're gonna go from there i'm gonna put some new minerals So which one of these you want to crimp the mouth, right? So you get it right into the throat. And you're gonna drop it all the way down its trachea, all the way down to its spine. Remember always to wipe your hands. I always keep a rag right behind me. Usually when there's a boat coming, you want to launch right after the boat passes. So that way it doesn't push back anything from the current so if you had to cast it. Take it, nice cast. Our breakfast today is Subway's breakfast combo deal. Three dollars and like 80 cents. Grab a bite of this with a coffee. So what I'm doing is I'm going to put a spike here so I can get my rod. When you're setting up a spike, you can use any twig that you want. Uh, you know, a lot of broken down trees, shrubs that are lying around. And twigs, basically. And find one that has like a little opening, like a Y shape, like a slingshot. Uh, um, what do you mean by slingshot? Is It looks like a slingshot. See, it has that Y bracket. It's professional looking. And you just want to get it right into the bead of the soil. And it's going to grip from there. Get it nice and straight. Now, as I was saying, when you, you're going to bait uh, your rod, you can lean it right against your spike. Now get it off the spike. Make sure you have no knots whatsoever. You can release the and so if you want, you can always release the bail, right? Let the current take some of that line. You know, once it's taken as much as it can, give it a nice little tug. Right? And you want your line to be a little bit up so you can see it right onto the water, right, so that's, that's good. My line's kind of loose, so I'm gonna pick it up. What you wanna do is when you're checking line, you don't wanna put any vibration onto that uh, line because of the fish, right? The fish is always, you know, nibbling at it and looking at it. You don't wanna put as much stress onto that line. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick up the rod, make sure there's no hook on each end, and just wanna Every time you place it onto your spike or twig, you always want to snipe. Okay. And now it's vertically up, hitting at about a 60 to 75 angle. Um, not quite 90, but in that category, like not 45. You don't want that. You know, you want to find that trickle, that spot. And when you see that bite, you're going to snap the rod take it grab your string right and then you want to just snag it because you're gonna snag it and that's gonna swallow onto the fish so once I get one here I'm gonna show you and what I mean so, there's a bite on this it's just, just creep up on it 
Okay, good. It's a fighter. Look at the rod go. Oh, it's a bat. It's flipping, right? That's not bad. It's a drum. I just got it right there. It's nibbling too. So. Right there. I always want to grasp the fish. Right there, look at that, look at that. That's what you call profession, professionalism. That's for you, um, Tommy, drum. Wish I got a green back though, but this will do. So just get that in the corner there. That was nice. I have a feeling there was a bite there, but I'm like, what could that be? It wasn't fighting, so it couldn't be a green back. It couldn't be a cat. Cats have that nice flinch. There we go. Direct hit. All right, YouTube. So um, it is. Nothing's been biting ever since I got that one white drum. Well, it's 10:30. The open waters. Right there. Found this other destination over here where it like it has like all this uh, muck, but there's like room over there, but you got a lot of those shrubs that have like spikes and crap that just stay on your shirt. Like I found like maybe like how many on me when I went over there. Which is a piss off. Good thing they're not spiky. So I just hate those things. Like right here. These things can like just tag on to you, right? So, look at that. Or, see? Or if they come off, they'll just like crawl up on you. It sucks dearly, so. I'm ready to cast again. Old man hasn't caught anything. I've got one white drum, which kind of kills the affect, and it's like 10.30, which sucks, so. Brought one home for daddy. Brought one home for daddy. There we go. And I did not know there was something on this freaking rod. There you go. Nice, nice little uh, sugger for you. Not bad, eh? Kind of bloody, but there we go. So we've caught two. Finally got a sauger. That was kind of weird. We didn't even know it was on there. My rod wasn't even flinching or moving. Um, the rollum between the two is kind of weird. Looking for that greenback. We haven't caught a greenback yet, so you know, be nice if we can get one. Alright, I got a green back. Finally! Yeah. Look at that. Right there too, I snagged them. Snagged them right at the lips. Beautiful fish. 
Ah, ah, it's on the gill. Finally. So I wanted to show you guys something. This is the greenback that I was saying. Beautiful fish. Beautiful. It's a greenback pickerel. You can tell with a nice glaze on it. Uh, brushing. You got the nice beak. It's nice. Nice greenback. Finally. First greenback of the... The old man picked up something. Let's see what he got. Yeah, maganda. Mas maganda pa yan. Yan, tanggalin mo rin. Ayun. Ah. Yan ako. Ang dumi. Tanggalin mo. Alright, so it's about uh, 10 to 12 and uh, we been zero for the last hour um, we're leaving here at about 12 30 so if we don't get a bite by then then uh, you know that's about it so you know from now it's basically do or die get or don't get but this I wanted to touch base on something but this um, controllable display right here which is connected to my uh, camera that I'm using right now is amazing so um, right there using this right there and there I can just tap and record instead of dragging to my phone and um, having to swipe connecting to the Wi-Fi and then pressing record on there and when you got like mucky hands smelly hands with the minnows it's a real pain so this is awesome so bear with me let's keep fishing and let's keep learning <laughs> So the old man caught another uh, greenback. He's caught up. So he's actually got two greenbacks. So I'm kind of in the downpour right now. You know that you like, you like, you like, you like Remember what our first day You kiss me and walk away You will only say for Love it, my